Hey guys, I'm myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And iOS 15 will soon be released by Apple. We'll most likely see the RC or release candidate be released by Apple on the September 14th event. And on a later date, a few days later, most likely the official release. Now, in this video, I wanted to talk about a few things you may want to know before you attempt to update to iOS 15. For example, the first thing I want to talk about is features that will not be making the final version of iOS 15 once Apple releases in case you were planning to update because of these features. The first thing I want to talk about is FaceTime. FaceTime received one of its biggest updates in many years. SharePlay, which is one of the biggest features coming to FaceTime, will not be making the cut for the initial release. So if you were looking forward to SharePlay within your iPhone, iPad, or Mac, this feature will be delayed. Apple will no longer be debuting this feature with the initial release of iOS 15 in case you were planning to update to use this feature. Now for those of you that do not know, SharePlay obviously allows you to play a video or a movie or a TV show or music and uh, someone on the other end of a FaceTime call can interact with the controls, listen to the music, watch the video along with you simultaneously as you use your FaceTime device with another user. So SharePlay will not be making the cut in iOS 15, unfortunately. Now, another feature that will not be making the cut is under privacy. If we head on over into the privacy section of your iPhone and scroll all the way to the bottom right here, we find record app activity. So this one here is the app privacy report. And what this feature will do is it will save a seven day log of any application that's using your data, accessing your microphone, your camera. And that way you can keep track of which applications have access to what information on your device. However, you can still save the data and read it yourself Yourself, but Apple promised a graphical user interface that will not be making the cut with iOS 15. So if you were looking forward to this feature being fully functional with the initial release of iOS 15, unfortunately, the app privacy report will not have that graphical user interface that we were all hoping for. You will still be able to save a seven day report, but you'll be able to read it instead of actually looking at it with a graph. Another feature not making a cut with iOS 15 is IDs and driver's license. This is a feature that I was looking forward to myself, but unfortunately will not be making the cut with the initial release of iOS 15. Although Apple did mention that this feature will be rolling out here shortly for uh, several states, most users will not be able to take advantage of the license and IDs feature built into the wallet for your iOS 15 device. So if you were looking forward to this feature, unfortunately it will not be making the cut. As I mentioned, Apple announced that the driver's uh, license and uh, ID feature will be rolling out slowly. The feature will not be available for most users at the official launch of iOS 15, unfortunately. So that's also a bummer. Yet another feature not making the cut is a universal control. Now, universal control lets you place your iPad next to your Mac and seamlessly move your mouse and cursor, trackpad, and pointer up through the edge of your iPad and display it right on your Mac. And then your iPad Scott controls or your Mac controls and mouse can now control your iPad. And this is a really unique feature, really awesome feature that I was really looking forward to, universal control. Uh, so essentially, you're pretty much uh, taking a project across all of your Apple ecosystem devices like your Mac, your iMac, your iPad, and uh, continuing this process throughout. Unfortunately, this feature will not be making the cut. This one's more towards the iPad OS 15. Uh, in case you were looking to update, this feature unfortunately will not be making the cut. So there's about four to five features that, that Apple will not be uh, officially supporting with iOS 15 and will be coming with future updates. Uh, but yeah, if you were looking to update just because of those features, just keep in mind that will not be happening. Next, I want to talk about bugs. And now, obviously, with new software updates, there's always the chance of new bugs. And I've personally encountered some bugs within Safari myself. I've encountered the status bar disappearing, some glitches, freezing of Safari itself, also third-party applications in some cases continue to crash on my device although iOS 15 just feels very polished right now within beta 8 which is sitting right now I do have to say the software feels very very smooth there's still some bugs within the software and once Apple releases this software to the major public uh, more bugs may come about and of course another thing that's very very important to most users is battery life and that's where I want to talk about iPhone 11 owners and older iPhones as well now many 
many iPhone 11 owners continue to report battery issues with the latest iOS 15. Now, iOS 15, as I mentioned, is currently sitting in beta 8. We're expecting maybe another beta or an RC before the official release, and hopefully that will address these issues with battery concerns. Again, for iPhone 11 users and older iPhones like iPhone 7 as well. So just keep that in mind that you might want to hold off about a week or so to see which bugs come about once Apple releases this software to the general public, which is going to be millions of iPhones and iPads across the world, to see if it's suitable to update or maybe hold off to iOS 15.1 or whatever comes next. iOS 15 official final version, I would say, will be released to the general public within the week of the 20th. So rumored iPhones 13 is most likely launching on the 24th of September. So if that's going to be the case, then the new software will most likely drop uh, on the week of the 20th before the 24th of September. So that is pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys. Just a heads up, if you wanted to update to iOS 15, what features will not be coming, things that could occur, why you should wait about a week before you update. Well, that's everything. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.